If you are working in the Pro Tools Studio, which has the Pro Tools Ultimate software and the Surround Sound 5.1 setup, then there are, are settings that you have to choose in order to get your Pro Tools session working with the correct outputs. Uh, if you've been working in a smaller edit suite or on a different computer which only has stereo outputs and then you bring that Pro Tools session into the bigger studio with the surround sound speakers you'll find that either you don't have your outputs working correctly or you have some working and some not working so I'm going to show you now how to fix that if you do get that problem so let's just open a Pro Tools session which was last saved on a uh, standard edit suite computer with a stereo output. So let's just go to open session and open this up. Now the first thing I get is uh, a message here telling me that some bus paths could not be mapped to their previous output paths and what it's saying is that bus analog 1 2 could not be mapped to the output for the control 24 5.1 surround so analog 1 2 would be the output of the of the session in the smaller edit suite and um, we're going to have to tell Pro Tools how to fix this now. So I'm just going to click no on that. Let's just show you that these outputs here are greyed out. So all of these outputs here are looking for the analog 1-2 output but because that does not exist in this session then it is greyed out and um, we, we can play the audio back but we, we can't hear anything. So what we need to do is go into this setup IO menu so that's input output setup. We'll ignore the input tab at the moment and we will look at the output tab and um, here we can see all the outputs set up in pairs and uh, because we're in the surround sound studio that's not going to work for us. So easiest thing to do is just delete all of these output paths. So if you highlight one of them, hold down the shift key and click on the last one and then go to delete path. All our output paths are gone and now if you go to import settings but firstly make sure that apply to all tabs is not ticked because all we want to do is apply these settings to the output tab. So we go to import settings and it should default to the correct folder and in here we've got some options the one you want to choose is control 24 mix so open that file and we can see now that it is created a path here called control 24 5.1 surround with the correct setup so the last thing we need to do now is go into the bus tab and if this hasn't already been uh, selected by Pro Tools, which it might do automatically, but if that had not been ticked um, and you've got nothing selected there, you need to tick mapping to output and change that to 5.1 surround. So now we can click OK and all of a sudden we can see that our analog outputs 1 and 2 are not greyed out anymore and that's because Pro Tools has decided to map that output through to the Control 24 5 point surround output. And so if we now play back session we should hear something. 2.30 Starlight Road. And there we go. So that should be the problem fixed uh, in this circumstance. I'll be doing another tutorial on how to fix the reversal of this. 
So if you've been working on something in the 5.1 surround studio and you want to take it to a smaller edit suite, um, I'll show you how to change that. Okay, thanks for listening.